there's breaking news and two big stories of the day. It turns out that Donald Trump has a vested interest in the companies that provided the experimental drugs that he took over the weekend for COVID-19. And some people are so over it. So the two companies are Regeneron and Gilead. Donald Trump and his last Texas that recently were put before the media and released show that he has stock in both companies. It was Donald Trump's doctors that called both of those companies and asked for the experimental drugs that they treated Donald Trump with over the weekend, leaving many people wondering whether or not he had some ulterior motive in announcing that he's been diagnosed with COVID and also why use those companies as opposed to the hundreds of other pharmaceutical companies that are working on experimental drugs. In addition to that, that company, Regeneron, received $245 million over the summer to work for a cure or a vaccine for COVID-19. So keep your eyes and ears open for more breaking news on that story. The other big story of the day is the police officer who shot and killed the unarmed black man over the weekend in Texas. Right now, he's behind bars with a $1 million bill charged with murder. It turns out that the city of Wolf, Texas, which is it's about an hour away from Dallas. I've been there before when I was a journalist in Texas. It's about an hour away uh, with traffic. And it's a small town of just uh, 1,500 people. And if you know about small towns in Texas, football is king. This young man, uh, 31 years old, he was a top football player at the school. He returned to the city. Um, he, uh, his name is Ron Price. He returned to the city after going to college and playing football at Hardin Simmons. That's a college in West Texas. That's my part of Texas, real popular. Uh, it's a great college. He played football there for the Cowboys with my cousins. And then he went back home and he works for the city. He was a trainer in the town, an inspirational speaker. Everyone knew him. And here's what happened. There was a man and woman who got into a fight at a store that he happened to stop at. It was a convenience store. He stepped in, broke up the fight and by the time they got outside it was all squashed and someone had called the police when the police officer showed up this white police officer um, showed up he pulled out his gun and ended up shooting this young man and the reason that he shot him is is because uh, the claim is is that uh, even though the there's uh, reports that the young man had his hands raised uh, he said that the young man was walking away from him. So he tased him. And when his body convulsed, that was reason that he believed to shoot him anywhere from two to five times. So this case is developing. There's another side story to this that we may delve into over the weekend. And that story is, is the fact that this young man had written some things, Jonathan Price. He'd written some things on social media that were not very uh, friendly to and I don't want to say Black Lives Matter because Black Lives Matter is not an organization per se. It's more of a movement or a rallying cry. But this young man put some things out on social media that you might want to pay attention to because because of some of these things that he said, very much kind of like the Stefan Clark case, um, there are some people that were not as prone to get involved in uh, making sure that he and his family receive justice. So I'll just leave it at that. Keep your eyes and ears open. These are developing stories. And as they break, we'll bring the news to you.